Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all would have heard and read a lot about the various specifications and features of LC Tejas which is widely available on various online forums. However, today we'll discuss about the features of Tejas which are not widely discussed. However, are extremely critical for any fighter jet and that's what makes Tejas distinctly ahead of other fighters. So, let's get started. First, we'll talk about its airframe. When it comes to airframe, the composite materials are the game-changing fibers for aircraft. The composites are stiff, lightweight, strong and cheap, making it an obvious choice for the aircrafts. The strength of composite can be even 10 times that of metal alloy and at the same time much lighter than them. But the development of composite for fighter jets was completely new for India. The foreign firms have denied India of sharing this technology which is the basis of any airframe in 4 plus generation fighters. This led to the rise of an unsung hero NAL or National Aerospace Laboratories. After nearly two decades of research, the NAL had developed the co-occurring process for carbon BMI composites. The autoclaves necessary for processing these composite materials were also developed indigenously by NAL. Now, the 90% of the surface of LC Tejas is made up of composites and 10% of surface is metal. Primary airframe components of LC Tejas like fin, rudder, wing spars and fairings, center fuselage and main landing gear component have been developed using this technology. Even the drop tanks of Tejas are made up of composite. The use of composite material in Tejas is highest among lightweight fighter category and developing the composite material from scratch for a fighter jet is not an easy task. This is the secret of Tejas lightweight and reduced radar cross section. The use of this co-current technology in LCA has resulted in 40% reduction in part count, 50% reduction in the number of fasteners and 30% reduction in the assembly time when compared to a conventional metallic frame aircraft. The usage of composite has led to overall weight reduction of about 20% in the airframe. It is a matter of pride for every Indian that LCS percentage deployment of composite is one of the highest among contemporary aircraft of its class anywhere in the world. Next, we will be talking about its maneuverability and agility. Tejas is highly maneuverable and agile combat aircraft designed for air defense and offensive roles. It features aerodynamically unstable, tailless, compound delta wing configuration which is accumulation of an intense design exercise involving extensive computational fluid dynamic studies and wind tunnel testing. Tejas is the smallest fighter jet in the world and only one to feature compound delta wing configuration. The Tejas has been made highly unstable and that's the secret of its maneuverability. In simple terms, if you compare a bike with a car, the car is more stable and less maneuverable whereas bike is less stable but more maneuverable. Tejas has also been made so unstable that if the flight control fails, it can go out of control in a matter of 300 milliseconds. Next, we'll talk about its flight control. The flight control of fighter jets has evolved from analog, hybrid to digital. However, they just went straight to completely digital flight control. The Digital Flight Control System DFCS, topped the list of flight safety critical elements in the aircraft. Primary control surface actuation employed cutting edge technology of direct drive balls with quadruplex redundancy operating at 4000 pounds per square inch of hydraulic pressure. The custom designed 
फोर चैनल डिजिटल फ्लाइट कंट्रोल कंप्यूटर इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्टी टू बिट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर पर मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स मोस्ट डेंसली पैक्ड एवजॉनिक्स इक्विपमेंट बिल्ट इन इंडिया टिल देन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन एरोनोटिक्स ए मैं फाइटर प्लेन वुड बी कंट्रोल इन फ्लाइट बाई थाउजेंड ऑफ लाइन्स ऑफ डिजिटल सॉफ्टवेयर कोड एग्जीक्यूटिंग कंट्रोल लॉ एलगोरिदम्स एंड रिटेंडेंसी मैनेजमेंट फंक्शन इन इट्स डिजिटल फ्लाई बाय वॉर फ्लाइट कंट्रोल सिस्टम The heart of any digital flight control is the control law algorithm which US has denied to India. The control law determines how the aircraft flies based on the instruction from pilot. Developing this technology was absolutely new to Indian industry and a huge leap forward. All the elements of DFCS with DFCC running the final approved version of software had been tested together with all control actuators for 50 hours of defect free pilot in loop flight in the iron bed test rig to uncover hidden defects that might have escaped detection the control law of tejas flight control system had been flown on a us f16 test aircraft the test pilot said that the aircraft actually handled better with tejas control laws The Indian test pilots have praised Tejas high speed handling characteristics its agility and said it is easy to fly even at the limits of its operational flight envelope no country on earth not even one has developed such a complex system and got it to work perfectly on the first try in summary the handling of Tejas is best in class next we'll talk about actuators It is one of the many critical technologies that were denied to India after 1998 new tests. Actuators are the key elements of aircraft and spacecrafts. In the recent years, the concept of more electrical aircraft pushed the development of electrical actuation system to substitute hydraulic actuators in a broad range of applications such as flight control, landing gear and brake actuation. Actuators for Tejas was initially imported but now have been developed by Bikram Sarabhai Space Center and manufactured by Godrej. It was successfully tested across all altitudes and speed of operations on 20th of May 2020. India is one of the few countries in the world which possess this technology. Next, we'll be discussing about the avionics and its cockpit. Tejas from the day 1 had digital avionics and digital cockpit it features advanced class cockpit with high performance graphics to support situational awareness decision support and data fusion the digital avionics system enhances the role of light combat aircraft as an effective weapon platform the glass cockpit and hands on throttle and stick hotas control reduce pilot workload Accurate navigation and weapon aiming information on the head up display helps the pilot achieve his mission more effectively. The multifunctional displays provide information on engine, hydraulics, electrical, flight control and environmental control system on a need to know basis along with basic flight and tactical information. Dual redundant display processor generate computer generated imagery on these displays the pilots interact with complex avionics system through a simple multifunctional keyboard and function and sensor selection panels last but not the least we'll talk about its weapon there is no aircraft in indian air force inventory which offers high accuracy of weapon delivery than Tejas You might be aware that Tejas can fire varieties of air to air missile In WVR or within visual range category it has been integrated with Russian R73 missiles and its integration with MBDS S RAM and Israeli Python 5 is ongoing In BVR category Derby missile has been cleared and Astra MK1 integration has begun 
it is integrated with Israeli self protection jammer pod ELL8222 which will be replaced by indigenously developed jammer pod for which the prototype is now complete an IRST system is also under development for LCA Tejas which might be pylon based instead of pod based which means IRST and the drop tank will be fitted on the same fuselage pylon this was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.